So what I want to do at this point then is to combine all of the first four steps that we did into a single pipeline so they can be executed all at once. I need to do this by starting with importing the library Magritter. And let's go ahead and run that. Okay, cool. Next, we need to go through and grab the code from each one of the steps. I'm going to start, because this is really long and icky looking, I'm going to start by uh, just assigning this to a variable called URL. And then that'll make it a little more apparent what we're doing here. So the first thing that we're going to do is the read CSV function. And we're going to read in the data from this URL. However, instead of assigning it to something right away, let's pipe the output of this using the pipe operator, which is percent greater than percent. Now notice that when I hit enter, the next line is indented. That's a clue to me that it's expecting another function into which the output of the first one is going to be piped. So the next step that we want to do is to mutate the data that's coming out of the first command and create this new total column. So I will uh, paste this in. Now the interesting thing is when you use piping, you don't have to say what the data source is. The tibble that comes out of the first step is going to get piped directly in, so I don't need to indicate what the data frame is. So after I mutate, then I want to take the output of that and pipe it into the next step. And after mutate, then I want to do this mutate in which I create the new Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander column. And again, I can leave the first argument off because I don't need to say where the data is going to come from, which data frame it's coming from. The data frame is being piped directly from the previous step. So there's that mutate function. And at the end, we're going to put another pipe. After that, step here, we want to arrange in descending order. And again, we don't need to specify the incoming data frame because it's being piped in. And finally, we're going to select just the columns that we want. And we don't need to say the name of the data frame. So let's go ahead and try this. First, we have to assign the value of URL to the URL named object. Now we can run the pipeline. So it went through all the steps, and here is the evaluation at the end. And the reason why I'm getting this is that I did not assign the result of the entire pipeline to anything. So it, it's basically doing this entire pipeline and then evaluating it and showing it to me in the console. If I want to save the result, just like any other line, I have to assign it to something. So what I'm going to do is assign it to a different name 
before I called the final step selected Islander, let's call this selected Islander pipeline. And we'll assign the output of the pipe into that data frame. So it's gone through all the steps, but now it didn't display the result at the bottom. Here is uh, selected Islander, and here is selected Islander pipeline. If I compare these two, I see that I got exactly the same result. Only here I was able to do them in a single step. 